Well, I just get in my own head, and I think everybody does, because right. like you have your. I mean, whether or not you're trying to be someone different on social media or not, like you're not always that person, regardless no. of it. You know what I mean? And I think like you know, every like like everyone might think I'm like a happy go getter all the time. You know what I mean? But like. I have the mornings where I'm just like grogging, looking at my phone for probably like three hours. You know what I mean? Like when you're like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing right now? You know, it's right. like the the productivity or whatever. But it's like I think we're all like, we're all trying to work on ourselves and be better. You know what I mean? Yeah, I it's and it's a daily process. You know? Yeah, and it's nothing that's like. I don't think there's never going to be a moment when you're like, I got it. You no. know what I mean? I think that's the the false hope that like with all the do it yourself things and things like that. Yeah. It's like, well, eventually I'll just be like. Okay, like I'm, and I maybe there's some people, you know what I mean, but you know what I mean. It's like with today's world and age, it's like anxiety and depression mm -hmm. and like screen time and just like just oh. not having these conversations in person anymore. Right. It's all like through text, through phone, booking online. It's like you don't have to do this. You don't have to have these social interactions anymore that when you do, sometimes you just overthink and it makes sure. you have anxiety and you don't realize like, why? Oh, I don't want to go go down to and make an appointment for myself in person right now or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like those things like they can build up and seem like it's like a, a mission to do. It's like, no, yeah. like, you just have to go drive in your car, walk out, talk to somebody and you have an appointment. You know what I mean? But yep. it's just like in your head, that's what a lot of people. I get think into. we get very um, focused in steps as opposed to results. Yeah. Because I, I know for, and this is something that I've, talked with a couple of people about for me I, I think I became almost socially anorexic to a certain extent um, because you know getting uh, getting and really working my sobriety then the pandemic hits mm -hmm. and so did you say you fell back I fell off, fell off. for one night so I'm like 17 months it was it was uh, it was literally on Valentine's Day I won't get in the story yeah no worries no worries but, but yeah. yeah I just uh, you had mentioned that and I was like I think I caught that right yeah but, so yeah. it's you know it's been well over but a year it, yeah, going on two years and it happens too like, yeah oh to so many people yeah. unfortunately for me you know alcoholism you, wasn't something that's going to take uh, my night do you ever listen to any of Macklemore songs yeah of course uh, my, yeah. my one year video if you go back and watch uh -huh. it on the Instagram for Knocking Doors Down or uh -huh. myself was uh, um, Glorious I did oh, the underneath and gotcha. kind of a cool little montage he has one song. It's about him. Like he yeah. re had relapsed. Uh, not. Uh, it was like after his other big song about being sober, getting sober, and everything like that. He ended up at like he like had relapsed. He did a show, and like a whole bunch of people were telling him like all of, like the in, in the song he talks about it. They're like telling him like, oh, thank you so much. Like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, yeah. blah blah. And he's just like feeling like a fraud during it because like I literally like relapsed last night, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's like. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. No, that's good. <laughs> well, and that's the thing a lot of people do struggle with too. And I have in my my a uh, couple episodes ago um, talking with who was Adam Jablin, and I brought up to him as a guy that uh, he's got a cool thing called the Hero Project, mm -hmm. helps people kind of work through through their issues in the sense of you know you you might have these things, but it's your job to keep them at bay. Nobody yeah. else can. You do because they're your feelings. You have to own them. And one of them that I brought up to him was that imposter syndrome. Yeah. Because I had a sense of feeling of that. And I still do at times. I think, where yeah. It's like, it's like a lot of, it's just like you You feel like, you, yeah, you f like I used to always say fake it till you make it. And right. I was like, oh, like a big proponent of it. And recently I'm like, oh, I guess it's not fake it till you make it. Cause yeah. like, I'm not faking it anymore. Like, right. you know what I mean? And I'm just doing what I, what I know how to do and stuff like that. But I feel like it's like one of those things where it's like, you, you feel like you, you do feel like you're not like, you are an imposter to a certain extent, but it's like, you're like, you know, you belong, but like, you're just, it's your doubt but or something. Do I belong? Yeah. Yeah. It's like that self doubt. It's a, yeah. it's the little voice in your head. That's always like, like, you just lay down, just lay it's down. Just you don't need to do this. That's a to total that. bitch. Yeah. 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 The, the, and I think we, we all have like, I don't know if it's an inner bitch, you know what I mean? But we all have that. Like, <laughs> like it's like, you don't need to work out. You don't need, you don't yeah. have to release an episode this week. You don't have to, yeah. to, to, to edit this right now. You still have two more weeks. Right. You know what I mean? It's, it's that head that that person in your head, now you got to like control. Yeah, that under. feeling of wh why do it? It doesn't matter to anyone else. It, nobody, no one's gonna know. No like, one. Yeah, it doesn't affect. And, and it. And I think it's important that you know. Yeah. So you need to do it, and, and that's the thing that that I I've had to work on is, oh, I know, I feel bad. 